India is arguably the most attractive investment destination today in the emerging market, due to its economy having grown tremendously in the past decades. But as it arises as a country capable of economic activity, its financial sector has been developed, and in recent years, it is making a reckoning as a source of foreign investments, segmenting itself as a forefront of the world's share of it. According to the Department of Economic Affairs of India, from the 2019 to 2022 financial year, India has collectively outflowed over 38 billion US dollars in foreign investments around the world, which has continuously grown year by year. But with this amount of money, which are the sectors, and specifically which nations is the money flowing into? Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more. Yes, as the title suggests, it is Singapore, the island nation that is today the most attractive investment destination in Asia and arguably around the world. Data from the 2000 until the 2022 financial year shows that Singapore has received the largest bulk of investments. Out of the total $256 billion that India invested in all those years, $51 billion or 20.1% directly went into Singapore, which compared to other nations is far above. Even the biggest economic nation, which is the United States, received only half of it compared to Singapore. So considering this, why Singapore? Well, to understand this, we must first see why Singapore is an attractive investment destination. According to several companies and nations that invest in them, it is arguably because of their strategic location. They are often called the gateway to Asia, meaning that if you want to expand in Asia, it is excellent to start in Singapore. We can see this in Indian multinational companies. As Indian startups start to become billion-dollar companies in local markets, foreign expansion is becoming the next frontier for growth. Moreover, Singapore offers a city that has the perfect infrastructure for a company to grow. It has the best systems that enable this, hence why it is the chosen destination not just for India but around the world. Currently, there are over 8,000 Indian companies that use Singapore as their headquarters, and this ranges from very new startups to global brands. Another reason why Singapore is a chosen destination is because of its tax and incentive systems. Singapore has one of the lowest corporate taxes in Asia, with only 17%, compared to the United States where it has around 25%. Furthermore, on top of the low tax rate, it also offers a good tax incentive, meaning that there are regulations that allow corporations to have no taxes for their first three years in operation. But the most crucial figure is actually the relations that Singapore and India share through their trade agreements. The two nations have several agreements that allow each nation to have access to easier trade, easier investments, and even benefit corporations through the avoidance of double taxation. Take for example Tata Steel, which is among India's largest corporations, even poured in over $1 billion worth of investments through its subsidiary in 2021. These are being led because of India's strong relations with Singapore, but also because of Singapore's position as a global financial hub. And because of these programs that Singapore has set up, it is no wonder why India has chosen it as a country for investment. Okay, so we answered why Singapore, but which industries are we talking about? Again, data from the last three years shows that the large bulk of India's international investments went into three sectors, and these three sectors contribute to over 80% of the entire international investments. First is the financial industry, then manufacturing, and lastly retail. According to that data, manufacturing and finance gathered over $24 billion. This is due to many reasons, but we think that it is because India is looking long-term. The future arguably lies in these two sectors, and in Singapore, these two sectors are very evident destinations for investment. Not just from Indian investors, but also from international and even local players. After all, with the introduction of the new digital world, we are seeing the rise of these financial technologies and advanced manufacturing. With India and Singapore's competitiveness continuously outpacing their competitors, it is no wonder that the two nations continuously choose each other as favorable investment destinations. After all, Singapore is among the largest foreign investor in India. This could also indicate that the investors are seeing good economic returns on their investments, which also means that the two nations are among the world's best investment destinations. Well, considering their stance on the global stage, 